hello guys it's a girl in the center you're welcome to my kitchen where we make simple but delicious homemade recipes i hope you're all doing great today today i'll be showing you how i make this yummy roasted whole croaker fish served with some pepper sauce and i hope you enjoy watching if this is your first time tuning into this channel i thank you for stopping by please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And click on the notification bell at the bottom of this video so that whenever we upload new videos, you'll be among the first to receive the notifications. And to my returning subscribers, I say thank you so, so much. I thank you for your support. What can I ever do without you guys? Absolutely nothing. I'm really, really grateful. Thank you for your support. And to the business of the day, I'll be using a lot of these colorful peppers you can see I've got the bell peppers but the yellow green and red ones I've got my onions spring onions um, garlic ginger rosemary this sauce is going to be so packed with some nice tasting peppers and spices which would make it so irresistible I start by chopping up all the peppers, onions and spring onions into smaller sizes that can fit into my blender and I blend them all together. I pluck off the rosemary needles from the springs because I don't want to blend the springs because they can be very woody and tough. One slice I add my peppers onion garlic ginger and the rosemary into the blender and pause a few times uh, to get it to this texture without getting too smooth i then heat up my oil slightly and once it's slightly hot i add the blended peppers and stir next i add my oregano herbs parsley and black pepper Rosemary, oregano and parsley pair up so well to give your meal that distinct above flavor and aroma. And on the clean croaker fish, I create some lines to allow my ingredients, my seasoning and sauce to penetrate into the fish. And to clean my fish and get rid of that fishy smell, I squeeze some um, lemon on juice onto the fish, then add some water and rinse thoroughly. Then put on a strainer to drain water from it. And to my frying pepper, I add the seasoning powder, salt, and allow to fry for about a minute or two. Once my sauce is ready, I allow to cool down. Then I cover my fish with the sauce. I stuff inside the fish as well so that it's completely covered in the sauce. Ensuring that you allow it get into the cut lines on the fish so that it can penetrate Deep into the fish and if you're going to be rubbing the sauce onto the fish using your hand please be very careful and be mindful of the fish bones so that you don't get hurt by those bones once all covered with the sauce i place the fish on an oven rack on a tray and apply some more sauce you might want to polish your oven rack with oil first so that your fish doesn't get stuck to it and it's easy to lift up I then roast the fish for about 35 minutes in a fan assisted oven at 200 degrees celsius now the top of my fish is looking well roasted so i just sprinkle a bit of extra virgin olive oil on it just before i flip it around that way the bottom remains moist while you roast the top when flipping your fish be very careful so that it doesn't break you want to run a flat spoon underneath be sure that it's not stuck to the rack before you flip it over your fish is most likely to break if it is not cooked enough that is not dry enough before you try to flip it over however you don't want it too dried before you attempt to do that remember that you want to keep your fish as moist as possible without being over dry after flipping i then add some more sauce on top of my fish 
The oil in the sauce helps to keep my fish moist while it roasts in the oven. The fish then goes back into the oven for another 25 minutes. Now the fish is well roasted. I'm going to go ahead to slice my peppers for the garnish. You can see how colorful my garnishing peppers are. I've got different colors here. It just adds some vibrant colors to the fish and makes it look more appetizing on presentation. And to prepare my garnishing peppers, I spread them on a fold oven tray. I then sprinkle some sauce drained from the fish. That's the tray that was used to cook the fish. I drained the oil and sauce from it and I used that to cook my peppers in the oven for about five minutes. That way I transfer all the flavors from the fish onto the peppers. Now I'm going to spread out some of the cooked peppers on my serving plates before I transfer my fish onto it. This gives the fish a sort of soft landing as well as preserving the succulence of the fish. Roasted fish can easily dry out so you want to try as much as possible to preserve that moisture in it and keep it as tender as much as possible. I then spread out the remaining peppers on top of the fish. This sort of provides like a succulent blanket for the fish and to help keep it moist and tender as well as adding that beautiful color to it. Now you can see how inviting my fish looks and it tastes so delicious. I have served this fish with the remaining sauce and some fried plantain for dinner for my family and it is so yummy. You can equally serve this with some fried yam, boiled yam or even boiled rice. It is so irresistibly yummy. Why not try this out for your family, make it for them for lunch or dinner. Or to entertain a group of guests in the house, like a small house gathering. And trust me, you'll be so proud of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and share. And leave me your comments down below at the comment section. And if you are yet to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button just below at the bottom right hand corner of this video and share to as many people as possible. Until I see you in my next video, look after yourselves, stay safe and eat well. Bye.